to 843 TV. We're with the folks at Beaufort County today and continuing on a very important topic. We've got Thomas here with the Alcohol and Drug Abuse Department and thanks for sharing with us today. We're going to be talking about the word recovery. Mm -hmm. First of all, tell us what that means to you. Well, what recovery means to me is, um, is freedom. It's, it's a new way of life. It's a changed life. Um, and as time has gone on with my own recovery, I, I, I've learned every day that it's, uh, it's a difference between life and death for a lot of people out there. Um, it's, I've had, I'm one of those who have had, we call a, lo a long-term recovery, okay, from a substance use uh, disorder. It's a health issue um, affecting so many people. Um, for me, it's just been a great way of life. I mean, uh, it, it, it changed my life uh, as a young man, um, uh, just being able to go after those things in life that uh, I could never achieve without the help of uh, someone reaching out to me um, and helping me change the path that I was on. And um, it's just been a great, great path. Um, a long-term career in a Fortune 500 company, able to get an education, a graduate degree, uh, work in the field of recovery for a major transportation industry as an EAP, and then in retirement, being able to come out here and serve the community. Um, it's just a great privilege, and, and I just, just want to thank you for inviting me here today to talk about that. Um, it, it being September being the National Recovery Month across the country. So you're somebody who has struggled in life with these issues of yes. abuse, and yep. you are on what you call a recovery path because right. truthfully, it's a long life recovery process, yes. is what you're saying. And yes. so it's something you've got to really be on top of. Yeah. And someone who's lived that road and now a sense of freedom, yes, not being addicted to alcohol and drugs, you can yeah. actually speak to those folks who are dealing with that right, right. now. Right. Well, um, yeah, it, it's freedom. There's a new path. Uh, it's a different path. And for anybody out there that's listening today, um, I have no doubt in my mind that you're doing the best you can trying to just be a success in your life and make it one day at a time left to your own resources. But there's help out there. There's many people like myself and uh, as we saw Aretha earlier that are willing to help and to give away what we received, that gift of recovery. And it's here for you. And there's so many people that are willing to share and help you make that path of recovery. So your advice is take that first step. Don't be afraid to A, admit that you have an issue that yes. you need to deal with and yes. take those steps to helping. Yeah you know, get on the right path as, as we said there. So it, it, clearly it, this is a passion of yours because you've lived that life and yeah. you've seen both sides of it. Yeah. Uh, what other, um, do you work with the folks one-on-one -on -one yourself? Yeah, what I do is I, I'm, a, I'm what's called a, a certified peer support specialist at this point. I work with the First Responders Project and our goal is to engage individuals that have uh, overdosed, that uh, they've, ha they've been resuscitated. EMS has gone out there to the scene they brought them back to life, basically, uh, from an overdose. And within 72 hours, the team that, I am, that I'm on, we try to contact that person, engage with them, and try to help them towards recovery, help them overcome the obstacles that are in their way to get, to get well. What you just described is a situation that's on the, the far end of the scale. So yes. our goal here to educate the community for what the right. county services are is not even to get to that point. Start with the basics. Reach out. Make that first phone call. As Aretha said, there's so many programs mm -hmm. to reach out to. So if you feel you're going down that path or you have right. a, or if you're a friend or a family member that feels someone needs it, then don't wait that long. Just reach yeah. out reach out you know and uh, there's there's this is a step for me stepping out in front of the community and talking about my own recovery that the goal is to reduce the stigma that it's so many families are affected by this if not their immediate family it's a relative or it's a neighbor it's one of their 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 family members that that need help and uh, it's nothing to be ashamed of um, it's nothing to be ashamed of yeah. that it's a health issue um, and uh, there's support out there just like there is for anybody with diabetes or for, uh, for, for high blood pressure or any other, any other illnesses that are out there. It's a day at a time recovery and, um, and I'm just, be a, just glad to be a part of it. Well, we thank you for sharing your heart. Very vulnerable about yeah. this topic yeah. and obviously you have a passion for it. So yeah. take those first steps, make that phone call, be on the path to recovery. Thomas, yeah. thank you for sharing. Thank you, you all stay right here. We'll be back with more 843 TV.